Well, here it is guys, the Google Pixel XL, and it's time to take it apart. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna heat the front of the phone up with either a heat gun or a hair dryer, whichever works for you. All right, next, what you're gonna need is a guitar pick or a pry tool. Um, I prefer the guitar pick because it's thin and plastic and it doesn't damage the phone. And you're gonna need some kind of a suction tool. You're gonna put your suction tool on the bottom and then gently pull up as you put your guitar pick underneath in between the screen and the frame and you're going to have to work your way completely around the phone to pry the screen up. It's held on with adhesive All right, once you pry the adhesive off and the screen's lifted up a little, you're gonna have to lift the top of the screen up and bring the bottom towards the center and lift it up more so you don't damage the cable underneath it. And you're gonna need a T5 screwdriver to re remove the T5 screws that are holding the bracket down for the connector of the screen. Once you got that cover off, you can pop the connector up and disconnect it from the main board. All right, next you got nine T5 screws you're gonna have to remove. There's four over here, two here, one here and two at the top. Go ahead and remove those. All right, so once you've got all your screws out, next you're gonna need to lift the mid frame from the housing on the bottom left-hand corner. There's an area you could put a tool in for separation. Once you've got that lifted, you put in a pry tool and you're gonna have to lift the mid frame from the rest of the housing. You're gonna have to dig deep, so it's a little bit difficult. All right, there you go. Here's the inside of the phone. All right, so next you have their battery tab over here, the connector for your battery, just lift it off the board. You disconnect the battery. And then you could disconnect your power and volume key cable right here, right next to the battery cable. And then you have this white cable on the top of the board. Disconnect that by pulling it up. And then you got one black cable right over here on the left. Disconnect that also. And then you got this piece over here in between the front facing camera and the rear facing camera. Just lift it up, disconnects from the board, like so. And then you can disconnect your headphone jack cable right here. And then 
your camera cable underneath it. And then you have this cable over here that runs down the middle, connects the top to the bottom. Remove the shielding. And then you can disconnect it off the board. And then you have a T5 screw on the top right hand corner. Remove that. And then you have one on the top left. Remove that as well. And then lift your camera out of its socket. Same with the front facing one. All right, once you got everything disconnected on the top and you got those two screws out, you're gonna have to remove the headphone jack. Just pry it up. Once you got that out, remove the front facing camera. At this point, you should be able to remove the main board. Just flip it over. The fingerprint touch is on the bottom. It's connected for, to the board on the bottom. You're gonna have to do, remove the protective film. Before you can disconnect the cable for the fingerprint reader. So here's your main board. And you have to put the housing, the fingerprint reader, the battery, and down here you have your speaker and your charger port. And here's your vibrator over here. All right, now in order to remove your battery, you would have to heat up the back of the phone to heat up the adhesive that's underneath the battery and you would have to pry the battery up. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and put the phone back together. So you're gonna start off by taking the main board. And first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna connect that fingerprint touch cable back onto the back of the main board. All right, once you got that fingerprint touch cable connected onto the back of the main board, Make sure your battery cable doesn't get stuck underneath and your power and volume key cable. Put the main board back in its place. And go ahead and put your two screws for the main board back on. All right, next, you're gonna put your front facing camera back in its place. And then put your headphone jack back in its place. And make sure those are connected. Then you can connect this top piece back over it, back onto the board. Put your back facing camera back in the socket. And then connect this black cable back onto the board. Next, put the white cable and connect it back onto the board. Once that's back in place, Put this cable that comes down the middle. Connect it back on the board. And then you can go ahead and put your volume and power button cable back on the board. And then you can put your battery 
connector back onto the board. All right, next, you're gonna put the mid frame back in. Make sure all the catches click back into place. All right, once that's in place, go ahead and put all the screws back in. All right, next you can go ahead and connect the screen cable back onto the board. Once that's connected, go ahead and put the cover back on. And put the screws back in place. All right, next, go ahead and put your screen back on. Put it back in place. And then press firmly down. And apply some heat to make sure the adhesive sticks well. All right, once you heated it up, put some more pressure on just to make sure it has a strong bond. And you're done.